Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, what in the hell is going on here, man? All right, this is some way out stuff right here. Keeps booting me off, keeps booting me off. Keeps booting me off. What we're gonna do here. What's up, Jay? I'm gonna try this one more time, Playboy. If not, we're going on Instagram Live, brother. I'm gonna try this one more time, dude. I haven't had these issues whatsoever in my lives, and all of a sudden, what the hell is going on, brother? I have no clue. I have no clue. We back again. I don't know. For some reason, for some reason, this thing keeps wanting to drop. Why? I don't know, brother. It's all good. It happens. They just don't want you to talk about it. Yeah, I don't know what it is, brother. But that's already twice. It's booting me off like this, man. For whatever reason. So, let me see. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to try to get some of you guys back in here so we can catch up. Yeah, but I mean, you can't say SEX on, on, on YouTube. Come on now. Maybe that's what it is. YouTube already booted me off. Uh... Twice already. Let's try it one more time. Text, Texas don't want to hear it, brother. Maybe Texas don't want to hear it. All right, guys. So what we're talking about, Instagram, guys, you guys really caught on over here. We're talking about SPM, man. SPM is a rapper from Texas that for the last 20 years has pretty much said that he had a, he had sex with a 13-year-old girl that was a, that was a stripper, this, that, and the third. Well, I got his paperwork, brother. And his paperwork doesn't say that. His paperwork actually says this. So to all you people, anytime you hear somebody say that SPM uh, didn't know the girl was underage, didn't know the girl was 13, had no clue, right? I want you guys to look at this paperwork. If you guys are on Instagram, go to my YouTube channel and you guys will see the paperwork. This is what I want you to show these guys, all right? I want you guys to read that right there. Asked by the prosecutor, Lisa Andrew, if Corey knew her age at the time, the woman said she wasn't sure, but she said, that cut off right there, he sometimes picked her up at intermediate school where she attended seventh grade. Did you guys get that? The girl who he had a baby from that was 13 when he had sex with her, 14 when the baby came out, in court came out and said, I don't know if he knew that I was underage, but he would pick me up at the junior high, homeboy. Get out of here. What man at 21, 22 years old is going to go to junior high and pick up the ruka that was a stripper? Maybe the first night he had sex with her, he thought, yeah, she's 18. But after so many days, weeks, I'm not sure how long their relationship went, brother. But this fool was going to her junior high to pick her up. What does that tell you? That tells you he knew damn well that she was underage, brother. But that's just one thing. The plot thickens, man. The plot thickens. And like I said, the reason I'm making this video is because I'm sick and tired of the arguments. One thing here, I don't like the BS I like to get facts. And the facts is, this is all from court documents, brother. This guy was having sex with a 13-year-old girl, picking her up at junior high. Now, think about this, guys. Don't look at him as SPM. Just like don't look at him as Michael Jackson. Don't look at him as R. Kelly. Look at him as a man that is picking up your 13-year-old daughter at junior high. That's who this guy was, man. And that's, But that's just the beginning, brother. That's just the beginning. What most people don't know is that SPM is not in jail for statutory rape. SPM is in jail. Let's read it. Children's Assistance Center that during this interview, she informed the interviewer that appellant touched and licked her and described the location of her body where the appellant had touched and licked her. This is coming from a nine-year-old little girl. This guy is in prison again. Not for statutory rape. He's in prison for going down on a nine-year-old little girl, brother. Let that sink into you guys. Stop with the BS that he's just this guy who got railroaded by the system and he had sex with a girl who was at a strip club. 
This fool had sex with a girl, even if it wasn't a strip club. The next week, he was picking up the junior high. You think at, at 21, 22 years old, maybe I could see where he said, hey, go pick me up at the high school. Okay, she's 17, 18 already. She's around that age. If I'm at 21, 22, and she tells me, hey, go pick me up at Walter Reed Junior High, I'm like, whoa, 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 you work there or something? They had to have some kind of conversation, but this was picking up a 13-year-old girl with a backpack and books and knows she's going to school there, brother. But he doesn't care. Why? Because he's a pervert. He's a sick man, and I'm tired of people backing this guy up and saying, oh, no, he got railroaded. It's right here. The paperwork is there, brother. Read it. The paperwork is there. But people, they don't want to read it. They don't want to see it. They just hear what he says. I was having this conversation with my wife. My wife tells me, but how? How, how does nobody speak about it? Well, what it is, it's, it's like uh, those things you hear. The best, pla the best place to hide is in plain sight. And that's what Carlos Coy has been doing. He's been hiding in plain sight. And he's been shooting that narrative that he had sex with a girl who was 13 years old. Working at a strip club. So everybody, all the homies are like, all right. But nobody ever checked the paperwork. His paperwork was right here. That black and white is right here. This guy went down on a nine-year-old kid. And then you're going to say, but Gil, no. He, he, he it, it, it was one person. They were trying to get money off of him. This and that. This is where the plot thickens even more, people. He was not only accused of two people. He was accused by eight underage girls, brother. Eight. One, yeah, you could have some ratchet-ass mother that's trying to get some money. Two, yeah, you could have some other ratchet-ass kid that wants some money. But the actual 13-year-old, she didn't want to press charges on her. It was her parents that didn't like him. It was her parents that didn't like him because who wants a 22-year-old man having sex with a 13-year-old girl? Would you want that for your kids? Would you guys want that for your kids? Absolutely not, brother. But what it was, it started coming out more and more, brother. And here we go. These are the women that came out and spoke about Mr. Coy. Let's go one at a time. The one wo woman is claiming Coy sexually assaulted them. Four of the women testified Monday in punishment phase of Coy's trial. So when they went to to the, 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 the what's the name phase, well, the punishment phase, which they go con convict them, right? Four women came out there and testified. The jury convicted, listen to this very carefully, people. Listen to this very carefully. The jury convicted Coy on Saturday of sexually assaulting a nine-year-old. Coy was busted and convicted of sexually assaulting a nine-year-old little girl. Stop with the bullshit, Coy, that all of a sudden it was a 13-year-old. You got convicted of a nine-year-old little girl. And that's the paperwork, brother. I ain't making this stuff up. I ain't trying to hate on you. I'm just trying to expose you for the file piece of garbage you are, brother. You're a pedophile. And people that support this guy, I can honestly believe a lot of them don't know because I didn't know. I just found this out last night. Why? Because he makes his video and I'm, I was tired of hearing the people arguing back and forth of what's going on. So I started doing my homework. And this is all paperwork from court. So when people say, hey, homie, don't speak on the guy. You ain't got no paper. I got the paperwork, homie. I got the paperwork. This is all the transcripts from his court case, from his appeal in 2003. Let's keep going. The jury convicted Coy on Saturday of sexually assaulting a nine-year-old girl at his Southeast Houston home over Labor Day weekend. Jurors who were sequestered Friday night in the hotel deliberated about seven hours over two days before reaching the verdict. It only took the jury seven hours to come back with a verdict, brother. And don't give me this, that he was the Machiavelli and he was this and that. Because he wasn't. He wasn't. And it's just a sad situation. Let's keep going. Another woman testified Monday that she was 12 years old when she first had sex with Coy. Although she initially told police she was 14, she testified Monday she changed her mind about the date after thinking about it. So worst case scenario, 14? This guy has a pattern of messing 
with little girls. He's got the 13 year old stripper. Now we got a 14 year old Koi. Where did the 14? Was this another strip club? What strip club were you going to? Toys R Us strip club? This guy was out there looking for little girls. And I'm sure some of his homies knew that he was doing that, brother. But they played the part to get paid. His family, I can also say most likely, they're not going to believe it. Because who is going to believe that their father, their brother, their son, that they love so much will do something so horrible as touching little kids? Nobody does, brother. Nobody does. But you think he's going to really come out and admit it? Absolutely not. That's what they do. And that's what, the thing that caught me, I was watching the video and the judge told him, you're just, you are what all pedophiles are, Mr. Coy. You're a liar. And all pedophiles, all you do is lie. And you touch something about a nine-year-old. That's when I said, wait, wait, wait a minute. A nine-year-old? Because I've always heard 13, 14-year-old. It's a lie, people. It's a lie that this guy has been saying in plain sight for almost 20 years. And we've all believed it, including myself. Look at the paperwork. I just showed you the paperwork. The links I will put in the description, brother. This guy is a pedophile through and through, brother. And he's convinced himself and so many other people that he's this good guy that got railroaded. Nah, brother. You going down on a nine-year-old kid? Come on, man. Let's keep going. In an answer to a question by Coy's attorney, Chip Lewis, the woman said she felt no animosity towards Coy after they stopped seeing each other. So these young girls, they didn't feel any way. Why? Because they got this hot rapper who's giving them attention. But they're 14 years old, man. And it once is a mistake. I get it. All right, you went to a strip club. She was 18. I get that. Two? We got another one. Also, a girl testified that she had sex with Coy several times at age of 14 at Dope House Records, the Center Street Recording Studio Rappers co-founded in 1995. This guy was going time and time and time and again and having sex with little girls. But again, he's been hiding in plain sight. He's been saying that it happened again. 13-year-old baby bash. Go look at the paperwork before you talk. Joe, go look at the paperwork before you talk. Any of you guys from Texas, go look at the paperwork. I'm not talking out of the side of my neck, homie. I'm not making this stuff. I'm not bashing this guy just because I don't like him. I'm trying to hate on him. I'm not going to hate on a man who's been in prison for the last 20 years and touched a little girl. What do I got to hate on that guy about? What do I, that guy, that guy, that guy sh shouldn't even be alive. If he was in California, it'd be a whole different game, man. It's unfortunate that a guy like that can walk around, hold his head high, and try to sit there. And, and, and talk down on people and see all kind of stuff when the paperwork is here. The proof is in the pudding, brother. But people don't want to admit it. People don't want to, people don't want to believe it. This is from the family members of the 13-year-old that he got pregnant. My family didn't want me to have anything to do with him. She said, Coy, 31, known profession in South Park, Mexican. It was her first sexual relationship. She had, and a, and a couple neither used nor discussed birth control at the time. He was 22 she was 13. I don't I, I don't know. I don't I don't know what else to say, brother. I just I really don't. I don't know what argument you can't give me an argument. You can't say anything. You can't after seeing all this paperwork, you're not going to sit here and ever convince me that that man is not a pedophile. Has he done his time? Yeah, maybe 20 some years in California would have maybe been out. But people should know when he gets out and he should be getting out here in a, maybe five years. That's what he's trying to push for. Don't you guys believe for one second he's an innocent man? Because what pedophiles do all the time when they get out? They do it again, brother. It's like a drug to those guys. And obviously you can see it was a drug to this guy, brother. Eight victims, people. Not one, not two, eight victims and he was found guilty for going down on a nine-year-old little girl brother this mouthy she was 13 14 when he met her yeah but that's not what he got convicted for 
He got convicted for a nine-year-old little girl, brother. And there was eight more people out there. So please, please tell me where that comes into play, brother. It's, it's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. Oh, let me see. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Let's see what you got over here. So, let's see what you guys got to say, man. We can talk about it for a little bit. I just wanted to get that out there because I'm tired of hearing the arguments. I'm tired of hearing the BS. I'm tired of hearing the back and forth. I'm tired of hearing the lies. This is the truth, brother. And I got the paperwork. You can see the paperwork. I will show you the link of the paperwork. Mr. Drone Pro, I appreciate that, brother. Thank you for that for that uh, super chat, my man. Gill kicking facts. I got the paperwork, homie. What, what more do you want? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Well, here, here. Let me, get, let me get you guys over here, IG. I got it on top of my laptop. That's why it's doing that crazy sound, brother. I apologize for that. Um, you guys want to go? Go to my YouTube channel. Tap in, people. It's because it was on top of the, lap, the laptop. There you go. That's why. Go to my YouTube channel. Tap in. I'll catch you guys later. All right. That was the IG family right there, brother. So let's see what you guys got to say, man. Uh, clowns will still defend him. It's the Michael Jackson effect. Yes, it is. The same blacks that were in denial by MJ, R. Kelly, because they saw him as a fan point of view. Rasa's in denial. Yeah, dude. Michael Jackson was a pedophile. R. Kelly is a pedophile. We, we talk about it. We go back and forth. I'm not going to get political. A lot of the, the, the right-wing guys, Texas, Big Chingo, shout out to you, Chingo, talk about um, Joe Biden being a pedophile. And this guy has paperwork. It would be like us having paperwork that Joe Biden went down on some little girl and got convicted. Forget about it, man. But people don't want to believe it, dude. That's a damn shame, man. That's a damn shame. Let's see what you guys are talking about, man. And if, listen, if any, if Coy, Mr. Carlos Coy, wants to do an interview, by all means, brother, hit me up. The email's right there. Hit me up. We'll talk about it, brother. We'll definitely talk about it. But I'm going to hit you with the right, I'm going to hit you with the facts. You can. Try to run around and say whatever you want. Brother, you're in prison for going down on a nine-year-old little girl. What's wrong with you? You had seven other victims that were 14 years old. What is wrong with you? To all you guys who want to defend him, I'm sure most of you didn't know that this was going on, brother. But this is sick. This is paperwork, people. Again, for you guys who just tapped in, this is paperwork. This is not made up. This is paperwork I picked up from his appeal. This is paperwork that he sat there. Hold on. Here you go. Here you go. Nine-year-old interview. That during his interview, she informed the appellant. He touched her and licked her and described the location of her body where the appellant touched her. What is wrong with this guy, brother? What is wrong with this guy? And we can't sit there and allow that because what happens? It makes it normal, man. It makes it normal to sit there and have guys abuse little kids, little girls, just because they're stars, just because they got money. We got Weinstein. We got that other jackass that was uh, had that island. We got Michael Jackson. We got R. Kelly. For us to turn our backs and look the other way is for you to let your child get molested, brother. That's what it is. And I will sit there and call it anybody that wants to sit there and tell me I'm lying. There's the paper, homie. Like I said, one victim, maybe. Two victims, Still, maybe. Eight victims? Eight victims, you're a pedophile, brother. Straight up. There's no there's no other way around it. Anybody wants to sit here and say I'm lying? Let me know, playboy. Hey, prior, free SPM. I don't know, homeboy. Yeah, that free SPM? I don't know. Interview Baby Bash. I don't, a lot of people don't want to get interviewed by the American Cholo because I'm going to hit you with a fact, brother. I'm not, I'm not going to hit you with an emotion, even though I do get emotional. I'm not going to hit you with lies. I'm, I'm going to hit you with a fact, brother. And the fact of the matter is that there is paperwork confirming that SPM is a child molester. SPM was with a nine-year-old little girl. SPM, let's get this for the record before I close this thing out, and I'm going to close it out pretty soon. SPM is not in prison for being with a 13 or 14-year-old girl that was at a strip club. SPM is is in prison for being with a nine-year-old little girl. And you can't even say being, for raping, for molesting a nine-year-old little girl, brother. If you guys are okay with that out there, even over here, his fans, that's on you, brother. Does that mean myself? I won't bump the music? No, I'm not saying that at all, brother. I, I still bump Michael Jackson. I still bump R. Kelly. 
But I'm not going to sit here for one minute and say, oh, it's free SPM. Ah, brother. To me, it's, uh, here you go, SPM. You guys have a great one. I just had to do this. I had to get this off my chest. I had to show you the paperwork. Other than that, yeah, hold on. Let me answer this, jackass. I'm hating, right? Yeah. I'm so jealous of a guy who's been in prison for 20 years for molesting a nine-year-old kid, brother. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm jealous of. Jesus Christ. You guys have a great one, man. I'll see you guys Friday. We got, uh, we got Miss Soto coming in, and, uh, and then we got uh, Hypnotic on Saturday, man. Uh, I, I, like I said, I just have to get off the chest. You guys do what you want with the, with the, with the, with the information I've given you. That's what this is about, giving that information, letting people know. If you got a pedophile in your neighborhood, I don't want to know. If you got a pedophile coming to your state, I don't want to know. If you guys want to support him, by all means, this is America, man. Other than that, Playboy.